Good evening, afternoon, or morning, or whatever time it is that you may be watching this, you lovely, lovely, and attractive people at Tiny Desk, NPR, and the rest of the big old world that may be tuning in on the YouTube. My name is Johnny Azari. I'm a Delta Blues act based out of New Orleans, Louisiana. The song I'm going to do for you today is called God's 5,000 Year Bender. Now, I was once told that God created man in his own image. And I figure if that's true, and if he's anything like me, he enjoys a cocktail or two. So I tried to think of what would the accounts of creation and those stories of the Bible be if God was a raging alcoholic. So, uh, yeah, this song is about that. Um, if you're a Christian or if this offends you, um, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not sorry that it offends you. Um, I'm just sorry that you would be offended by a song. All right, <clears throat> here we go. Ooh. Well, God sure knew what he was doing them first five days. On the sixth, he found a bottle and got carried away. Why do you think he had to rest that seventh day? He was holding his head, saying, Lord, what have I made? Meanwhile, the devil was laughing at him down in hell, saying, these poor fools are going to serve me well. Well, this made the Lord get kind of sad, and he took another drink, and then he started to get mad. Well, he went down to earth looking to ease his pain. He found a virgin there and inquired her name. She said, my name is Mary and my husband's away. The good Lord tilled that bed like a plow through the plain. Well, nine months later, he woke up, his head hurting bad. And Mary was knocking on his door. She said, hey, man. You're a dad. The Lord said, no, no, it can't be so. I've never seen this Mary before. But she held his son up to the sky. By God, they had the very same eyes. Well, the Lord didn't know just what to do. So he poured a shot of moonshine from that Jupiter moon. Well, Mary never told Joe about the fun she had had. She just said, hey, Joe, man, you're a dad. Well, Joseph didn't know how this could be, but he raised little Jesus quite tenderly. Well, Jesus came of age and began to think. He said, hey, Ma, this ain't right, some kind of stank. Mary said, J.C., Joe ain't your dad. I ain't sure where he's at, but he's kind of an ass. Well, Jesus took off down the road, yeah, he headed out west, where he was told his old man be at a bar down Skid Row. Sure enough, he found him there, bottle and toe. Well, Jesus said, old man, I'm the son you abandoned God said, I don't know what you're talking Well, Christ looked at his dad all cockeyed And the Lord said to him Listen, son, you want to die? Well, Jesus left really pissed And he said, hey man, we ain't done with this the Lord leaned and fell off his stool and he shouted, My son is a bloody fool. Well, Jesus went into Nazareth, uh, telling everybody just who he is. He said, I'm the Son of God and I'm blessed. Well, this made the Lord awful upset. Cause now he's getting prayers both day and night His email and inbox left and right And he had no time to drink So the Lord just began to think and think 
Well, he called the mayor of the town and he said, Can you do anything about this here clown? Well, the mayor said, You know, anything can be done. He called Pontius, and the trial begun. Well, not long after Christ was nailed down, and God was on his way, moseying out of town, and there he met a man named Muhammad. Who found his Lord passed out in a hammock? Well, Mo woke God and said, Man, don't drink so much. God said to Muhammad, Hey, how about you shut the up? Well, Mo dragged God to a local rehab, and for 40 days and nights, man, I'll tell you, the Lord had it bad. Well, now Mo went off and he was telling everyone that he was a prophet. He met the Holy One. And Abraham was just scratching his head, saying, By God, how did God's face get so red? Well, from the rehab, our Lord was released. And back to that Jupiter moonshine, man, he did reach. And he's off in some dive. Saying, I wish, I wish I wasn't alive And I hear now he's also taking pills No wonder the world just kills and kills I'm not saying this is the truth I'm saying it's just as impossible to disprove Besides, my version is funnier I don't believe the Lord publishes literature do you? Thank you very much, Tiny Desk World people, humanity, Christianity, for giving me that story to totally just play with. It was fun. I hope I win. And if I don't, whatever. It's cool. Peace.